So it's time to talk to Jamie Thompson from the Road Policing Unit. It's a post-TT debrief for us. Indeed. By the way, thank you for the stuff you did before because you got lots of views. People were interested. Need to say, <laughs> the message about the one-way system still failed. How many people in the end? At the, at, at the well, bar? we've still got some matters ongoing. So um, unfortunately, we did have some uh, contraventions. Um, on the whole, again, um, uh, foreign visitors. Um, we certainly had a, a Japanese chap that tried to drive up in a hire car. Um, and we've had some other uh, foreign visitors who we've had to deal with. Some have been dealt with already. Uh, some have been arrested. We had a couple of Austrians that came over in the early hours of the morning um, and others we are intending to put to the courts. Was some willful then? I know you can't go into details, so I'm being careful here, but do you think people actually wanted to just do it for the buzz or was it com mostly mistakes? No, um, I'm quite confident that it was mistakes. Right. Uh, no one's done it intentionally, but if they did, they, you know, they had a, a death wish really. But um, thankfully we had officers at the, at the Craig um, who were able to act swiftly um, when, you know, during the hours of, of, of yeah. daylight um, and thankfully nothing happened. And we'll, you were sitting here saying, that I think this year we've cracked it. So is there more work to be done? Is there anything else you can do? We're, we're looking at other things. Um, we've already started to speak to the DOI about what our potential solutions are. So um, it wasn't as bad as last year. The signage was better. Unfortunately, people still made mistakes, but we are looking to, to put it right next year. OK, well, the mountain went one way. And I think within seven minutes it was shut. I think the video we've got now is what was to do with it, which yeah. has been on social media, done very well. Viewing-wise, you can't believe what you see here. No, Just take it through us. Yeah, well, you know, we'd, we'd opened the road from, from, from Linear Road in Ramsey. We had a, a number of, of bikes uh, waiting to, to go. Um, and it took seven minutes to, to close the road, unfortunately. And, and the footage that, um, that you've seen um, shows uh, a couple of bikers far, far too close to each other. Um, and one uh, left the side of the mountain, let's say. Quite staggering. And, and it has... A good effect does it when people see this uh, in some way? Does it yeah. make people think twice? Yeah, I think they understand. They appreciate why we have to close the road. Um, mm -hmm. There is criticism about how often it closes, but it is because of those high-speed collisions, mm -hmm. or breakdowns, or you know leakage on the roads that we have to make sure that officers that go to deal with these uh, incidents uh, can do so in a safe environment. But it's, it's not always uh, motorbikes. I mean, the, the cars are also an issue as well, aren't they? Yeah, um, we had five cars that left the road on five. the mountain throughout the period. Um, we had 20 um, collisions on the mountain throughout the period, um, and five included uh, Up, cars. Up, down, the same? Uh, no, um, it's, it, the, the collision date is lower this year, um, but you've got to factor in the poor weather that we had, because uh, visibility at times was absolutely shocking. So. It, it forced uh, riders and, and, and other road users to, to slow down and, and drive to the conditions, but um, we were still busy. We still had to close the road. Well, we've got a fresh bit of video you, you've given us. Uh, take us through what we're looking at on this video. Yeah, our unmarked bike uh, was out quite quite a bit throughout the period through, on the dry days, um, focused on the coast road and certainly through the, 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 the western side of the, of the course. Um, and the footage that we can see here is a, is, uh, is a bike that um, passed our unmarked biker and then proceeded to go through uh, the Glen Helen area um, too quickly and um, on the wrong, carefully put well, on the wrong, wrong side of the road yeah. and, and was going into certain bends, uh, clearly not being able to see what was around the corner. So um, we've, we've, we, it just goes to show that there are one or two idiots out there uh, which, who lets everybody else down on the road. You have this situation with de-restricted roads, which uh, excites people no end. I mean, and then at the same time, you put on the coast road a, a 50 mile blanket limit. It's yeah. almost like two different things going here. Well, it's, it's very difficult to work out what to do for the best. Uh, I mean, the good statistic for the coast road is there wasn't a single um, bike collision uh, for the entire period. There was, there was one vehicle uh, collision, which um, just struck a wall. Um, that wasn't TT related, um, so th it just goes to show that the speed restriction does work. And as we've talked about previously, a lot of the bikers do like to get back round to the mountain, uh, mm -hmm. to yeah, through to Ramsey uh, as quickly as they can. So that certainly helps in slowing them down. There were deaths. I mean, up, down, uh, more than last year, I think, isn't well, it? Well, yeah, we had one last year. Unfortunately, we've had uh, two recorded this year. Um, they're both still being investigated. Um, so there's not. Um, too much more I can say about it really o other than um, we need to make sure the inquiries are, are completed before we can give a definitive as to what's happened. You got some more stats I think haven't you anyway how, how overall you know well, things we, were looking? Uh, well um, collisions w w were down which is good um, serious collisions were down uh, which is even better um, the mountain road we had I think I said 20 incidents mm. um, involved cars bikes um, bikes on bikes bikes on cars um, 
it's just the nature of what the TT is. You know, we've got 12,000 bikes that comes to the island. Um, so it's no surprise that we are going to have some sort of incidents on the roads. Well, it's always interesting to see this video back. I, I've got to say, that unfortunately, there's one which we can't even show you because the, the, the person didn't want us to see it, but it's a shame. But I mean, these things do educate by seeing. They do, things. yeah. Um, you know, m more and more vehicles and, and bikes are having. Um, I've got video capability these days, so we do get the chance to. Of course, to, you guys have got cameras on there as well. Yeah, body worn cameras as well. So that, in time, that will that will start showing officers that are attending these types of incidents, and um, you know, hopefully, we can we can learn on how we police and, and how we improve. Well, thanks for coming in. Because I know literally you have you've been debriefing and getting it all. To, then you got close it all again for Manx Grand Prix-ish, not maybe the same level, but well, we've started again. Yep, straight yeah. away. I've, I've started looking at the duty boards for, for Grand Prix and getting all the staff in and, and the vehicle sorted. So yeah. is it a tough one for you guys though? With, with numbers and everything, or is it you know, something you get through? I know, but you know, how's it for you? The TT, or yes. yeah, no, the TT is a busy period. You know, um, every officer that works at TT knows they've got to put the hours in. There were there were numerous 14, 15 hour days throughout the period, um, but we accept it's what we have to do to try and keep the roads safe and, and everybody happy.